Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing very well. If you haven't yet all subscribed, please make sure that you click that subscribe button. Got lots more videos and events coming very, very soon. Um, I am attending the Abath Festival tomorrow, um, which should be an awesome event, and I will be sharing that on the channel tomorrow evening. So please all stay tuned for that. That should be going live tomorrow. Um, should be a fantastic event. I think they're going to be around a thousand baths there all the way from you know, Abarth Puntos different variations of the 500s and of course the 124s so can't wait to share that on the channel with you guys obviously bringing up my own 124s up there as well so that should be an absolutely awesome event and please all stay tuned for that video going live tomorrow evening after the event all stay tuned for that but um but in today's video I'm doing a bit of a Bugatti update collection now, I believe last month, or around a couple of months ago, I did an MR Bugatti collection update. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description for, for that video. I've got them out on the table here because I think they kind of lend in quite nicely with all of the other auto art models that I've got. But um, I'll leave a link in the description for that video where I discuss what other MR models are on the way, what other ones I've got on pre-order, and what is next for the Bugatti collection by MR models. But we'll touch on them slightly. But um, the Bugatti model currently sits at 12 uh, models. Eight from AutoArt Signature, which you can all see lined up on the front. And then obviously four from um, from MR at the, at the back there. Um, just waiting on a couple more uh, to come. So they should be kind of, you know, a couple of months, I hope. Um, where I've got the Bolide and the Prolifi still on pre-order. Um, so those two should kind of round off that um, that collection quite nicely and pretty much the whole Bugatti collection as a whole. Very content with how the um, how the collection has panned out. Never really intended to pretty much collect every single variation of the Veyron. But um, I think just over time, I've just um, I've just targeted it as a bit of a collection. Um, and I do think they do look really nice with all of the different specs and colors of the um, of the Veyrons. So we'll touch on all the models so far. Um, so obviously starting off with the Bugatti EB110 um, all to our signature model. Again, I've gone for the um, for the blue. I think it probably suits the model and the car best. Now all to our did release them in a few different colors. I think they did a red one, um, a silver one and a white one. Um, but for me, I think the blue is probably the best one you can get. They're not that rare at the moment. I think you can still probably find them on eBay if you're looking for one to add to your collection. But um, yeah, I would highly recommend the blue. This is the GT variant. Um, I think they did make the Super Sport um, as well. Um, but yeah, again, great model car, um, great car, and um, quite an important car for Bugatti. I believe it's kind of down to their first road modern car. So um, yeah, really iconic car, the EB110. So um, yeah, great car to have that in the in the collection. And then we've got a couple of, well, we've got a few different variations now of the Veyron. So starting off with these two, so the red and black one, and then the, um, the very rare kind of ice blue and white, I think that spec's called. Um, that one is the production car. This one, I think, is the pre-production car. Slight variations. Um, you can obviously see the front with the, um, with the air grills. Um, this one doesn't have it, and I think that one sits slightly higher than the um, than the pre-production version. But very very similar cars overall. Um, but again, great cars, and you can just notice that the side mirrors are different on the pre-production than the production car. But um, yeah, but I think they look great together. The red and black one um, is not that rare. They made loads of different colors for the pre-production Veyron. You could have got one in yellow, um, blue. Um, and so on and so forth. But yeah, I think the red and black one is probably the most iconic one for me with the kind of crema interior, looks really nice. Um, and then obviously I followed it up with the production car. Um, again, in quite a rare spec, this one, I don't see many white and blue examples on um, on eBay at the moment. Um, I think if you're looking for them, they're probably around 250 pounds at the moment. Um, but yeah, quite a cool little spec. Um, and I do like trying to find them in different colours to the ones that you always see on um, on YouTube or on online. And then we're following up with a, um, I think these ones are special editions. 
So this one is the Persung, the Bugatti Veyron Persung, a special edition version of the Veyron, um, finished with a chrome exterior and carbon fiber. Um, again, great model car. Um, I think they're getting somewhat rare now. Prices of these used to hover around 300, 350 pounds. I think they've softened a bit over time, um, but I think they're just quite rare. Um, but again, great model cars and the chrome looks awesome. Uh, first kind of chrome model car that I've ever had. And I've had it for over 10 years and the chrome has held up absolutely no problem at all. No fading, no light spots or dark spots on the chrome. So it's done very nicely. Um, and again, Auto always do a great job with their um, with their signature series. So yeah, if you're looking for one, would highly recommend it. And then we're moving across to another very rare version now. This one is the Bugatti Veyron Sagnor. Um, again, finished with a black exterior with a carbon fiber um, with a very bright, I think it's called burnt orange interior. So a really bright interior does pop against a very dark exterior. Um, yeah, prices of these are quite quite a lot now, I think, just because of their rarity. You, you don't find many at all on, um, on eBay, really, at the moment. Um, but yeah, great example, great piece, um, and does sit very nicely in the Auto Art Signature Bugatti collection. Uh, next up, we've got a um, limited edition version, so another special edition version of the Veyron. Now again, AutoArt made these in four different specs. I went for the blue because I think Bugatti um, is renowned for being in blue. It's kind of their flagship, our most iconic color. But they did make one in red, um, blue, yellow, and I think white as well. So they made four different um, colors. And um, yeah, I went for the blue one. Again, like the Sagnor, this one is incredibly rare in blue. Um, and again, prices have increased quite a lot on um, on these models. But yeah, again, a great, great car um, with the chrome exterior and the light blue touches. But um, but yeah, I really do. Um, I've had this model for 15, maybe 15 years now, and it's, and it's been, been great. Next, we've got a couple of similar models, but just in different specs. So these are the Bugatti Veyron Supersport models. So we've got one in, I think, the Marvin X edition which basically is a full carbon fiber exterior with all of the little blue touches, so around the knacker ducts, um, some of the blue touches around the wheels, around the sides. Um, but yeah, it's just a full carbon fiber uh, super sport. And then we've got the kind of one that broke the world record in all of the um, iconic carbon fiber and orange. So we've got the orange, orange wheels, orange side skirts, orange lines around the um, front bumper. And obviously that's done and that matches the Chiron Supersport, which I've got got over there too. So great cars. Um, they did make a couple more Supersports um, all to up, but I've stuck with these two for now. And I think they do look great in what it, it what is a pretty much ultimate auto art signature Bugatti Veyron uh, collection, um, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm not looking to really add any more from Auto Art at this stage. Um, and then obviously next we've got the um, the MR model. So probably the, the most recent one is the Supersport, the uh, Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. I think, I think this still holds the world record for the fastest road legal production car. Um, 305 miles an hour, something like that. But again, yeah, great model from MR. Then we've got another special edition version of the Chiron, the Lavon Chunwa, uh, the most expensive new car in the world. I'm not sure whether that still holds the title about the time of this car being sold. It was the most expensive new car in the world at around 16 million euros. And then we've got a more track focused version of the Chiron, which is the Devo. So slightly less top speed, but slightly more downforce. And then we've got the regular share on there. But this one, the one that I've got is the world record edition. So it's the one that went from zero to 400 and then back to zero again in under 42 seconds. So really nice little MR collection there and really does tie in very nicely with the auto art collection that I've got as well. So, you know, let me know whether I'm missing any other models, leave some comments, um, any suggestions, please do let me know. Um, but yeah, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the kind of quick Bugatti update video. Um, as I say, please like, please subscribe, please share, and please all come back for tomorrow evening where I'll be uploading the Abar Festival on the channel. So a lot to look forward to. Uh, please all stay tuned and I will see you guys very, very soon for lots more videos to come. Cheers, bye.